So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozzolo from Curval.com and it is time for another DAX Fridays. I am horribly late today, I was trying to charge my iPhone and then I suddenly got a short, so I've been chasing electricity all morning. But anyhow, I am now finally recording the video and it's going to be a really good video. So we are going to talk about the function called Treat Us, it's been... Uh, it's been released for a while, I don't know, perhaps a, a few months anyway. And uh, the first time I saw it was actually with Quick Measures, where the Microsoft team actually released uh, the Quick Measures using Treat Us, and I didn't know what that was. So there are a few blog posts out there explaining what this function does, and I really like one example from the Power BI, no, the SQL BI team, and I'm going to show you. Uh, demonstrate this function using his example or their example. So what this function does is basically allows you to create virtual relationships or you know allows filters to pass between tables that does not have a relationship. So uh, without any more delay, how about we start? It's going to be a great video. So the Power BI team has not put a lot of love in this uh, document, in this function actually, if you read whatever is in here, you would understand absolutely nothing. So don't bother, <laughs> really, don't, don't, don't even try. Uh, if we go to the SQL BI team, they have a, you know, huge, huge blog post documenting what Treat As does. And I am just going to explain the actual function. I will not go through the entire blog post. I will though post the link to them here. So you can actually go here and read everything to your heart content about this function. Now, will you explain in simple words how this works, okay? If you wanted the download file, I will put the link here and you will come here to download it. So uh, without that, let's go to Power BI and check this out. So we are here in Power BI and I love this example because it is so simple that everything makes sense. Uh, so thank you guys, you did a great job with this. Let me show you what this has. You have three tables, an advertising table, a date table and a sales table. And this is something that you can have, uh, them, I'm sure a lot of organizations have this scenario. You have uh, sales, and you have, this is sales by day, as you can see. So uh, the 1st of January, 15th of January, 29th of January, we have some sales and we have the sales amount. We have, of course, a date calendar table to be able to do time intelligence, fantastic. And then we have an advertising budget. Of course, you don't have an advertising budget by day. You have an advertising budget by year or by month, okay? So when you're actually doing relationships with this um, yeah, model, you will be able to connect the sales table with the date table because as they call it, technically they have the same granularity. It means that as you can see, you have a column that has year, month, day. And on the sales table, you have a column that has year, month, date. And because it has the same level, you can join them together with relationships. Great. Now, if we want to know, for example, we have some sales and then we want to know how we are doing with our budget. Okay, are we going over our budget or are we going below our budget? What's going on? So to be able to work with these, what we normally do is we actually join the tables together. So we allow filters to uh, propagate. So you join them together, you go up here and I say, yay, this is perfect. Let's remove this total advertising. You put in the number of sales, total sales is basically the sum of the sales amount. And then you put the sum of the budget and like, what? doesn't work, right? And then you say, no problem. I know what the issue is. I will remove this, get away. And then it means because I have to go through the calendar. 
and you're getting the same results. Well, the issue with this is basically, again, you have the different granularities. You have a column that goes day by day, and then you have a column that goes month by month, and you can't join them together. Well, you, you see that you can, but it won't give you the right results. So what we need to do is to actually pass a filter. So say, when we calculate the sales amount, go in here, filter that, and once you filter that correctly, go there and pass that filter here and give me the results. Easy, right? <laughs> well, it's not been that easy to do before. Um, it's a little bit easier to do now with this treat as function. So if we look at what has the SQL BI guys team done, let's look at the formula. As you can see here, it's actually their measure. It's actually given us the total advertising per month, which is exactly what we want couldn't get it when we were having relationships. So what they have done, they have calculate the sum of advertising and then treat as summarize, blah, blah. So, uh -huh. what is that? Okay. So I think we, as usual with DAX, you have to cut the elephant in pieces to be able to eat it. So we are going to do just that. Let's focus on the sub subject matter, which is treat as. So I'm going to copy the treat as part of it and create new table. What is treat as? And now let's see what that treat as thing does. So we go, sorry, we go in there. We have now created a table that hopefully show us what Treatas does. And this is the hard part, or the, the part that has not been like properly documented by the Microsoft team, but uh, there are some great blog posts out there explaining it. And basically what it does is, is that take this filter and apply it to these columns. And if you read the game, Microsoft documentation for Treatise, it just says that you have to have the same number of columns. Uh, so basically what that means is that if I would remove, I don't know, the month number from here, it will break. So if you filter two columns from one table, you have to have the same two columns from the other table. If I though remove date a month number and I just have year, then it will work, okay? But we have here monthly granularity, so we want to have month. So let's add that back, uh, month. And we need to add it back here also, right? We go there. So now we have a table, and this table is going to get passed from here to here. And it's going to give us the results and then it's going to bring it back and give us the results. I hope I understand what I mean, right? So the table that we created with treat as this one is the filter that will be applied to the advertising table. And then it will be returned into our formula. For to be able to do the sum. It's a great trick, isn't it? I, I, I really love the simplicity of it once you understand what the heck this function is doing. It is actually really, really, really good. So hopefully you'll understand it too and start using it for complex scenarios. This is an absolutely amazing function. So even if I was late today, I hope that I made up for it with this video. So this is all for today. Uh, sorry again about me being late. This, uh, it's just today has not been my day. New computer, getting used to it, installing things, nothing works, and then the, the electricity goes off, and it, oh, it's, it's, it's been hard. But Friday is now near. So I really hope you enjoy your Friday. You enjoy your weekend. I hope that you understand this fantastic function and you're so excited, as excited as am I to start using it. And uh, if you like it, thumbs up. So 
If you're new to the channel, uh, I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday Power BI query, Wednesday Power BI, and Friday DAX Fridays. So if you want to learn more about Power BI, make sure you subscribe and you click the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos. Easy, right? And I will see you again on Monday. I have, I've never had so many video ideas as I have today. I have a list of like 35 items of videos I want to do and not enough time as you always, but I won't be running out of videos. I promise you that. I'm going to stop talking now. Have a great weekend. Bye.